Now, now Sony is stirring up all this garbage out here in these gaming streets. They're lying, they're snitching on Xbox. They're trying to turn all of these countries and regulators against Xbox. They even went to good old Take Two. You know, the home of, of GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, Midnight Club, one of my favorite racing games of all time, Dub Edition. And these idiots are trying to turn all these billion dollar corporations, trillion dollar corporations against Xbox just to stop this deal. I'm talking about, guys, this is getting crazy. They are, they are questioning Take Two on whether it's pretty much going to damage the gaming industry. Can it be uh, anti-consumer or can it be inadequate? So every title stands alone. That's what Take Two said. Every title stands alone. Now, what did, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? Call of Duty isn't going to make Sony or break Sony. Yes, it's probably gonna sting a little bit. It's gonna, you know, it's probably gonna be like a bus pipe, you know, because that leaking that thirty <laughs> percent, that's a that's a big, that's a large amount, you know. There, nobody wants to lose that many millions and billions of dollars. Last year, just last year, you know, Call of Duty made a billion alone for Sony, so they don't want to lose that thirty, forty percent that's coming from Call of Duty. And as gritty as Sony is, it's killing them every single day. That's why Jim, Lion, Ryan won't let it go. That Decepticon ain't gonna let it go. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all guys, man. It's gonna be a long time before we get back to just gaming. Because <laughs> this is gonna be a dog fight to the end. I'm talking about, I'm talking about those ponies at the barnyard right now chirping. Man, they're, they're, they're gearing up to stand behind Jim Ryan. Like, those fanboys, they're gearing up to stand behind Jim Ryan. And like I said before, they're going to stand behind him to the end. There's nothing that Jim Ryan can do that they're going to say is wrong. He's wrong. He he. This right here is inadequate. He, he's, they're, they're never going to turn against him. Now, you have some fans, some, some Sony fans. Some PlayStation fans like the regular gaming community, the gaming industry will say, yeah, he's wrong. But those fanboys, oh, no, 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 no. They, they're always going to move the goalposts back to, 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 to Jim Ryan's side. Nah, they ain't never going to go up against him. Take two said it theirself, man. This ain't, this ain't going to hurt gaming. And they're saying you can't replace one title with another another title. You can't replace one title with another title. So they're basically saying they don't want to try to replace Call of Duty. They they rather it just stay where it is instead of build something now for the future to compete later on. To build something now, Sony, to compete later on with Call of Duty. Instead of wasting all this valuable time. See, time, see, this is what you guys got to understand. Time is the most valuable thing that we have. And Sony is wasting a lot of it by crying <laughs> right now. So they are wasting all of this time, their resources. They have people that's ready to build a new game right now that they can get on. They can build, you do know that you can build a game exactly like Call of Duty, right? They just don't want to spend the money to do it. But they will spend money to do remakes, remasters, cash grabs. They will they will they will spend money on that because that's like a guaranteed, you know, that's guaranteed money. That's a guaranteed hit. That's a guaranteed cash grab. That's guaranteed flow that's about to come in they already know it if, if, if you're remaking a classic game a legendary game you know it's gonna sell because the name is too big I, I don't get it though like you rather keep doing remakes and remasters you're gonna bring back horizon are you serious right now sony like this is a joke this generation of sony is a joke ps5 is a joke it is a remake station here on out. Like clearly, it done trickled down to other studios now. 
They're seeing the cash grab. They're seeing how they're pretty much beating and cheating their own fan base. You don't think those other gaming studios and gaming creators are looking at that? All those free millions and all I have to do is make some beautiful cutscenes and brag about it, how it been rebuilt. We already know that game last of all, we already know that game was not rebuilt. The mechanics, everything is just copied and pasted. The only thing that was rebuilt was the cutscenes. We already know that. You can look at the game. Yeah, I got a little more detail on the landscape. It's beautiful. I'm not knocking the game. You know, but the the the, the gameplay itself was pretty much average. But the cutscenes was a 10 out of 10. It was beautiful. You know, we're we're used to seeing the actual the way the gameplay actually looked remastered. But how is it built ground up? if it doesn't look like the actual cutscenes, you know? Because they knew it took a lot more money. They knew it took a lot more time to truly rebuild that game ground up. Now, there are plenty first person shooters, plenty of FPS shooters out there, but you cannot replace Call of Duty. Only thing you can do is try to compete with it. And now you, you can't replace it because it's gonna take some time to build up a game that's that popular. But if anybody can do it in this gaming industry, have been, that man, Sony have been dog fighting generation after generation after generation, and they're still here. They've been, they've been here since the 90s, and they've been fighting Scrum. So I don't see how this one game, this one pushback, this, this was one moment that they, they have to face adversity. This one time that something big is about to be taken away from them and they feel like their whole company is going to crash and burn and come down tumbling. I don't I don't understand that part. It's something there I'm missing. Like, how is this one game? You've been here since the 90s. You fought it out with Sega. You fought it out with Nintendo. You fought it out with Dreamcast. You fought it out with, with the first Xbox all the way into now. PC still survived. All of the little um, Nintendo Game Boys and Game Boys Advance and, and GameCube. Sony fought it out to the end and they're still here surviving. So how is one game, one shooter game, this is a game that that's not even your recipe. This is a first person shooter game. This ain't no walking simulator. This ain't no adventure game. This ain't no story driven adventure game. This ain't no role-playing game. This ain't no Souls game. This ain't your recipe, Sony. This is Xbox recipe. Multiplayer shooters, RPGs, that's Xbox recipe. So why does it hurt you so bad? Now, if they were taking God of War away or Spider-Man, okay. If they were buying Spider-Man, God of War, Uncharted from Sony, I can kind of understand why they would be mad. Really. I can really under, uh, truly understand why Sony would be mad. You're taking away God of War. You're buying God of War, one of the biggest AAA bangers in history. You're buying Santa Monica to put the new God of War on Xbox and Game Pass day one. I can understand that. Now that, I can understand. They, that would be worth fighting for toe to toe, blow for blow. Call of Duty, yes, but that's not your recipe. You, you're not, you've never been good at multiplayer games, especially shooting games. So that's why, why do you think Xbox didn't go after a story driven game like that? Because that's not their recipe. That's, that's not their kryptonite. <laughs> now, Sony has to take this as a lesson. Sony has, has to accept that you're going to have juggernauts that's going to come up in the gaming industry that you're going to have to fight back with. They're going to have to understand that just by you crying to regulators in different countries and trying to team up and pretty much jump Xbox and Uncle Phil that they're just going to lay down and just let it, and stop the deal just because you're say just because you're Sony just because you said so just because you're a billion dollar corporation or oh, you have to listen to us you have to listen to us like how does that look right now this is the most embarrassing thing I have ever seen in gaming history if there's something else out there I need to I need to find it 
But as far as a CEO, a president of a brand big as huge as PlayStation, Sony's biggest gold mine, the biggest money maker that Sony have, and they're crying like a little baby. If anyone, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, if anyone in the gaming industry that should have been crying, it should have been Sega. Sega should have been crying like this. After they knocked off Sega, and Sega just is a publisher and a developer, now, now that now that that's the only thing they do is make games, that I can understand that point. I can understand that part. But Sony to be crying like this, and and pretty much saying that we're we're just gonna stick to our guns. We're still gonna have those walking simulators, those story driven adventure games like God of War, Horizon, Uncharted, Ghost of Tsushima's of the world, and so many more that's coming down the pipeline. They're gonna stick their guns, but they don't want like they don't want to focus on a shooter. Like that's like they refuse to make a shooter. Why why is this such a big issue? I don't understand. Like why every time you say, hey man, we need a, a shooter, a first person shooter, like a big triple A banger, they refuse to do it. They will overlook what the game community wants, what the fan base wants. And it needs to be day one. When they do decide, when they're forced to make it, when they do decide to actually do it, it definitely should be day one on PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Plus Premium Cloud Gaming, and mobile. That will be the only way that this game will move as fast as they want it to move and bring in the amount of money that they want it to bring in. And I'm not just saying that, y'all. I'm saying that because I don't want Sony to go anywhere, but I don't want to see them try to be nasty and dirty and compete like this. You know, this is not the right way. Like, this is bad for business. I'm sorry. This is terrible for business. Who wants to see Sony crying right now? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's funny. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see Jim Ryan up there like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this is funny. <laughs> it's just to see a big CEO person. No, 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 we don't want to lose. <laughs> no, 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 we don't want to, we don't want to lose Call of Duty. You can't, we can't go out like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop the steal. <laughs> Stop the steal. <laughs> Those Decepticons over there, Sony, don't care about nothing but money. They are greedy, grimy, shady, disrespectful, low down, <laughs> uppity, cocky, arrogant bastards <laughs> over there at Sony. And, and it's like ain't nothing you can do about it all you can do is just sit back <laughs> all you can do is just sit back and enjoy the show because we already know jim ryan is going to continue to start lying <laughs> and before he even talks do you guys like really ask yourself this like seriously even the, even the fanboys <laughs> do you really feel like you can believe anything that comes out of that man mouth <laughs> before he even talks he's like oh i know he's about to start <laughs> i know he's about to start lying <laughs> at any minute you know how you can see the words come out of somebody's mouth and you be like 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 a cartoon you like uh oh <laughs> like a comic book <laughs> and it just says it's liar liar <laughs> lying jim ryan it's lying flying jim ryan like for real man I, I i can't trust anything this man says because it's going to come with a paywall they're going to find a way sony is going to find a way to milk your pockets with everything they announce have you guys noticed that everything that comes out it's a paywall oh you know we got this new program out but you're gonna have to buy X amount of games and you don't have to rank up this level before you can get good customer service. We're gonna jack the price up on PS5, but we want other countries that we jack the price up on PS5 to help us stop the Call of Duty Activision Blizzard deal. What sense does that make like a true 
a smart person that have sense and 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 that's intelligent is gonna say like Jim Wright. Really, let's sit down and have a talk here, buddy. <laughs> What sense does that make to ask of these countries after you just pretty much dogged them out and you're ripping off your own fan base? You're stomping on them, you're spitting in their face and you're saying, help me stop this deal? Like, like really, like, how, make this make sense to me because I don't understand it. How can you be so greedy and grimy and shady and doing all these little exclusive deals behind, behind Xbox back? Behind Nintendo back, behind PC back, cloud gaming, whoever. They're doing all this dirt and now they're trying to cover it up with tears. <laughs> Jim and I have been crying so long, man. We're, we all are about to start swimming at any moment. We're just gonna see a, a flood of water coming up. Like, man, where all this water coming from? It's a lot of rain. <laughs> man, it's crazy. It is crazy, man. This is the worst gaming, bro. This is the worst gaming generation I have ever seen. <laughs> they haven't made resistance. They haven't made kill zone, socom, um, a few more out there, but. Back, they could even bring Battlefield back, but better. Battlefield already have the mechanics. That shooter is already ready to go. It already have a, a big, pretty, pretty decent fan base. It ain't died off. So I'm saying, so if they do little exclusive deals, like I said before, they should push for Battlefield since Sony is the king of doing exclusive deals, exclusive DLCs and microtransactions, right? They are the king of locking stuff down. Clearly, they can bring out an expansion pack or or an add-on or something exclusive to Sony. So that they will bring out, a, uh, they will have EA pretty much make them a Warzone and a Battlefield, but maybe just an exclusive Battlefield. It's just, the same thing as Battlefield, but pretty much it'll be an exclusive one for pretty much PlayStation because they've been doing it for years so why would this be so hard for them to do battlefield is ready to go sony don't want to make a call of duty competitor but battlefield is the closest one the biggest one the closest thing to call of duty and we all know that what other shooter out there that playstation have besides rainbow six maybe but i don't think i still don't think rainbow six is on battlefield level Battlefield is a, a huge maps, uh, uh, so much you can do. And then on top of that, don't don't bring out the new Battlefield. Let's go back to the old days. Let's go back to the to the uh, Battlefield three, Battlefield four. Let's go back to those days, Battlefields, because we know those Battlefields there were were really trying to compete and take Call of Duty out. If you go back and play them now, like if you got Game Pass, I think I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't. I think it's. I'm mad, as a matter of fact, I think it is on PlayStation Plus Premium. I'm not sure. I gotta go back. I may. I may go download it today. I may go repurchase it today and go just to go back and look for you guys. But back in those days, if you go back and look, since because they don't want to build a new game, like I'm thinking, they should go back to those days, but just remake and remaster them for PS5. You don't think those games would sell? If they remake or remaster um, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 and mush them together and have them come out. So that right there would take all the weight off of all the, pretty much of the PlayStation fan base. Because they were like, well, at least we'll have something to play and it's gonna be remastered and it's gonna look just as good as Call of Duty. Because you're gonna have big, you know, big studios. Sony have some pretty talented big studios out there that they can have work on that game. And they've been the king of remaster this generation. So let's get the little so-called, you know, Naughty Dog graphics on the cutscenes and throw them on the um, old Battlefield games. <laughs> you know, and bring out a Warzone type game, you know. Uh, to pretty much do you know battle royale mode or whatever but man I'm gonna leave it right there um, and we're gonna touch on another topic later I just want to touch on that subject and just say man they're 
they're just going out their way trying to pretty much double team as boss and it's just and i know uncle phil is so annoyed right now it's just so annoying bro every day every day i know it's getting the gaming community a headache every day you wake up on the blogs the vlogs the media the press everybody is getting crazy out here in these gaming streets so you guys already know what to do man you already know what to do make sure you smash that like that subscribe button click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news in these gaming streets and if you would like to jump into the xbox ecosystem or the playstation ecosystem on your pc only laptops or steam deck make sure you smash the description and click on the links and it will take you there thank you peace love you guys